NBC News World Headquarters in New York. This is NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams. Good evening. When President Bush selected career diplomat John Bolton to represent the U.S. at the United Nations, a lot of Democrats in Washington cried foul. Bolton's been known in Washington as a critic of the United Nations, but for that matter, the president has been too. And it's all proven too much for the Democrats in the Senate, who today made sure Bolton got roughed up during his confirmation hearing. Even if it, Monday night it's tax week and we begin a special series here tonight with questions about unpaid taxes, $350 billion worth. Wood's not paying, and why should honest taxpayers have to make up the difference? Then later, a website that says, send money or the bunny dies. Sure, it's tasteless, but is it real? To help prevent a heart attack, 81... NBC News in depth tonight, the start of a special week-long series here called Taxes, Are You Paying Too Much? Tonight, a new bolder IRS. As this year's tax deadline approaches, the IRS is planning more audits and more prosecutions of those trying to hide tax money from the government. It's a reaction to a growing number of tax havens and schemes that cost the federal treasury more than a quarter trillion dollars a year. In depth tonight, here is NBC's Tom Costello. Richard Yancey knows what it's like to be the most feared man Mark Everson. Uncle Sam and the taxpayer got led to an IRS shortfall, money the government should collect, but doesn't. $350 billion each year. That equals about 80% of the federal deficit, and it leaves the honest American taxpayer paying an extra $2,000 just to make up the difference. Now the IRS is stepping up in NBC News, New York. Up next here tonight, the FDA reconsiders a ban on one kind of breast implant. A bizarre incident today at the U.S. Capitol. A man dressed in black showed up with two suitcases. He walked onto the steps of the West Terrace, demanded to talk to President Bush, and refused to budge. So an assault team tackled him and dragged him away. Capitol Police destroyed one of the bags. There were no explosives inside. Officials tell NBC News the man is a Chinese national with complaints about his immigration status. Thirteen years after most of them were taken off the market, there is new debate tonight about silicone breast implants. Should they once again be available to any woman who wants them? Women on both sides of the debate told their stories today to an FDA advisory panel. NBC News Chief Science Editor Robert Pizzell tonight. The immediate argument is whether silicone is New York. The New York Times has had its share of scoops over the years, and this morning they had another one, the President's Playlist. Last July, President Bush's twin daughters gave him an iPod, which he, like millions of Americans, now uses while he exercises. The Times managed to get a partial list of the songs the leader of the free world is mountain biking to these days. It is heavy on the traditional country, George Jones, Alan Jackson, Kenny Chesney. He's also got the 1979 classic My Sharona by The Knack. John Fogarty's center field, which must hark back to his days as a baseball owner, and Van Morrison's classic Brown Eyed Girl, which is said to be a longtime Bush favorite. Up next, another story from the Internet age. Is someone in cyberspace really going to kill a rabbit? Will she get her happily ever after? Tomorrow on Today, tackling tough issues with your children. Those hard talks are the ones that, you know, you dread. Raising Kids Today, sponsored by New Johnson's Extra Care Healing Motion. We know by now the Internet is an incredible tool. In just seconds, you can find out who the 21st president was or which county in Ireland your relatives came from. The kids in the audience also know there are bad things on the Internet. There are scammers and hoaxes and those who would do harm. In this case, harm to an innocent rabbit. It is a website threat that some are taking seriously. We get the story tonight from NBC's George Lewis. Because bunnies are such adorable little critters, people are hot NBC News, Los Angeles. And because nobody knows who you are on the website, yet another website is reporting tonight. All of this is a hoax. So all of that and the president's iPod making up our news for tonight, this Monday, April 11th, 2005. I'm Brian Williams. We'll look for you right back here tomorrow evening. Good night.